Okay, guys, in this video, just want to wrap up this chapter talking a little bit about squares. And so I think squares uh, are something, again, we have a, a pretty good feel for, a lot like rectangles. Uh, the mathematical definition of a square is when we have, uh, let's see here, a square is a parallelogram. A parallelogram with, uh, let's see, a parallelogram with um, congruent sides, with congruent sides, and four right angles. Okay, so you might notice that this is similar to uh, a rhombi, this is similar to a rectangle. Actually, uh, a square is both a rhombi and a rectangle. So a square is, is always a rhombi and always a rectangle. We'll talk more about um, the relationship between them in the next chapter. But basically, if you have, if these are rectangles and these are rhombi, if this is rhombi, R-H-O-M-B-I, okay, then this area here, this intersection, would be squares. So not all rhombis are squares, not all rectangles are squares, but every square is a rhombi and every square is a rectangle. Because um, it's a, uh, again, a square is a parallelogram with, with congruent sides, so that makes it a rhombus, and four right angles, that makes it a rectangle. So every property um, that we've talked about so far with, with uh, rectangles and uh, rhombi, you can combine those, and, and basically that'll be our properties uh, of, of the square as well. So everything about you know, the diagonals bisecting each other, um, the diagonals are a midpoint, diagonals meet in a right angle, all of those things um, apply to, to a, a square. All right, so let's look at some examples. We have three examples here. I want to find, I have quadrilateral A, B, C, D. I want to find three things. Number one, A, D. Okay, A, D. Well, we know this is a square. Again, how do we know it's a square? Because four sides are congruent and we have four right angles. So this is a square, which means that if this side, if C, D is five, that means A, D is five. Okay? The measure of angle A, O, B. A, O, B. Okay, so we want to find that angle right there where the O is. Okay, well we know because a square is a rhombus and, and all rhombi have intersections uh, of their diagonals meet at right angles. So this is going to equal 90 degrees. So all of these are actually right angles because a square is a rhombus and the rhombi's diagonals intersect in 90 degree angles. So finally, what is BD? BD, okay. Well, we know that AD is five. We know that BA is five. So we have a triangle that looks like this. Five, five, all right. So we have that as our setup. So we can do uh, Pythagorean theorem, okay. So this is going to be C. Remember, the Pythagorean theorem says the sum of the legs squared so the sum of the legs squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So this is 25 plus 25 equals c squared, 50 equals c squared. So c equals root 50, which we can reduce to 5 root 2. 5 root 2 equals c. Okay. So, so bd it's going to equal 5 root 2. Now you might have noticed also this is a, um, a special right triangle. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And so if you knew that right away, then you could have just known, you know, if you know, uh, if you've seen those special right triangles somewhere in, in your math, in classes or something, you could know 5, 5, and then you automatically knew this was 5 root 2. But if you didn't know that, then that's okay, and, and you could have used Pythagorean theorem. Moving on to this, we have a parallelogram here. So what conditions must be met for this to be a square? So we have a parallelogram. What needs to happen to this uh, for it to be a square? Okay. Well, again, we go back to our definition of a square. 
uh, that's a parallelogram with congruent sides and four right angles. So um, I guess the answer would be all of these angles need to be right angles. It doesn't look like they are, but that's why it needs to happen. And all of these sides need to be congruent. Okay, so the angles need to be 90 degrees and the sides need to be congruent. All right, coming down here, we have, uh, it looks like, at least a rhombus. Okay, we have a rhombus, um, at least because we have four congruent sides. I see we have two right angles here, so if these are right angles, that means that these must be right angles. So we have a rectangle, and if we have a rhombus and a rectangle in one shape, that means we have a square. Okay. So um, first thing I notice is that x is, is the angle created by one of the diagonals. So x is going to equal 90. We know that right away because, 90 degrees, because uh, this is a rhombus. Diagonals of a rhombus intersect at right angles. Okay. Finally, what is y? Well, we know um, that diagonals uh, in squares, diagonals in squares bisect each other. So if this uh, section is 3, that means this is 3, this is 3, and this is 3. So if here is 3 and here is 3, then 3 plus 3, y equals 3 plus 3, which equals 6. Okay. So in later chapters, we're going to be comparing uh, looking at all the quadrilaterals. But for now, um, hopefully this gave you a decent idea uh, of the, the differences and similarities between rectangles, rhombi, and squares. Thanks for watching, guys.